Anglers Worldwide, I'm Jabroni Joe, and in today's video, we are packing up and taking the whole family camping at one of our favorite campgrounds to visit, Red Rock Canyon Adventure Park. And that means it is officially time for baby Liam Jethro's first camping trip. Let's get it, guys. Alrighty guys, tent is all set up for the night. We just gotta get all of our stuff in the tent, try to get cozy, and then we'll start thinking about some dinner and maybe going and doing some fishing a little while later. Alrighty guys, the baby is content in his stroller. Kendrick's is in the tent watching uh, some videos on his tablet, and I'm gonna get started on dinner. Tonight we're gonna have two ribeye steaks that we're just gonna split amongst the three of us who can eat solids, and I'm going to also fry up some potatoes in my cast iron skillet. And we're just going to do all of this over some charcoal on the grill rather than searching for firewood and getting a fire started. Alrighty guys, so I forgot to bring a plate, so we're using this lid right here, but let's check and see if the steak is good. You can hear the baby in the background. That's pretty good. I'd say about a medium, almost medium well. Alright, so we're going to get this cut up and we're going to get to eating. What do you think of the potatoes, sweetie? Amazing, like always. Thank you, sweetie. Mm. You, how is it, bub? That, that tastes really good. Thank you. 
Not sure how well you guys can see, but the family and I are walking down to the pond here to do some fishing. Should be a street light down there and we've got some lanterns to help out. But yeah, we're gonna go down there and see if we can't find a catfish or maybe a bass. There's definitely some good sized perch in there or bluegill. Oh my lordy be. There's a lot of scum on the top of the water. That's gonna make it so hard to fish. Very, very hard to fish. We're going to help you, help, uh, help you out, guys. Oh, wait. Can... No. What? Oh, my God. Honey. Uh -oh. It's gone. What's gone? Whoa. What the heck? Well, guys, this was one of my favorite little little tiny fishing holes but i can see over there the dam the water level is way down it's it's gone they must have drained it or something to that effect because there's nothing here anymore wow that's really disheartening makes me sad so sorry, baby. yeah i didn't expect that wow no is that Actually, the ground? I yes, right here in the front, definitely, honey. See, look over there. I can see the dam. Yeah, what you were pointing out. I'm 99 percent sure that this is just like one little trickle stream of water You're there. Right. Oh. Yes, we fished here before. There used to be dam there. Yeah, there's always been a dam there, but there's it's usually been high enough water that it was just like barely going over the dam. Yeah. Nope. I'm so sorry, baby. Okay, guys. Well, with the pond being dried up, obviously we can't fish. And me and Kendricks are pretty bummed about that. But it is what it is. So, for right now, we're back in the tent. Uh, Kendricks has his own mini tent set up inside the big tent. So, he's Hi. hanging out in there and watching his tablet. And the baby is content in his uh, movable bassinet. So, uh, so the wife and I are going to watch Miss Congeniality on the uh, laptop. And uh, I'm going to, I've been working on this book, My Side of the Mountain. If you guys haven't read it, uh, I'm about halfway through it and I really, really love it. If you love the outdoors, I really suggest this book. It's a good one and it's a classic. Most people have probably heard of it before. Anyway, guys. We're just going to relax for a little bit, watch a movie, and uh, see what, you know, we decide to do before bed. Alrighty, guys. Good morning. We slept pretty decent last night. It cooled down pretty well. Uh, it's a little chilly this morning. Not too bad. Got some rain sprinkling just a little bit. Uh, hopefully not too bad so I can get some breakfast made. Might go back down to the pond now that the sun is starting to come up and get a better look at what's going on down there in the uh, sunlight because I'm still just blown away at the fact that this pond that I've been fishing at for years and always had great luck at is just gone since the last time I was here. Anyway guys, uh, I'm going to get around, maybe get some breakfast going, and we'll go from there. For breakfast this morning guys, I'm going to do some vanilla brioche bread from Walmart and make up some French toast with it. I've also got some sausage links here for me and the wife to split, and some 100% maple syrup to put on top. We've got the brioche uh, cut up. My wife and son like thinner slices while I like the thick cut stuff. That's why I like buying these uncut loaves so I can give everyone what they like. They need to be cooked. They're getting almost burnt. That looks good.
You flipped two over, guy. Yeah. Like one was connecting to another one. Yeah, that's right. There we go. Those will be ready in just a minute. Oh, that's very bad, son. Yeah? You think so? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sausages are browning up pretty good. Probably be ready in the next couple of minutes. Okay, that is the moment, so. Sausages are all done and browned up. They're actually really hot right now. We're gonna have to wait a minute to eat them, but they look delicious. How's your French toast, Bubby Joe? Um, I, I just took a little bite and, and, and it actually tastes good. Yeah? You like it? Yeah. Good, I'm glad you like it. Liam Jethro, say good morning to the people. I love you, baby boy. <laughs> How's the French toast, honey? Amazing. So guys, on the morning that we're filming this right now, it is our second wedding anniversary. So I just wanted to take a moment to say that I love my wife. I'm very happy with the life that we've made so far. And uh, I hope she's just as happy with it as I am. I am. Careful. Okay, so now we can see the pond in the daylight. Guys, water normally comes up all the way up to here. But now we have basically a small stream running through the middle of the thing and a small pool of water back there. I don't even know if any fish would have been able to survive at this point being all stuck back there. There were some good sized catfish in here. Uh, I've caught a couple of nice two pound bass out of here. So, uh, yeah, I just don't know, guys. This is crazy. I'm not sure how long it's going to be before I'm back at this place, if this is the condition that the fishing pond is now in. It is a beautiful backdrop there with the canyon wall. I'll still say that, but... Well, guys, we've had breakfast, and we went and checked out the pond and confirmed that it's pretty much dried up, uh, except for, like, a couple of little patches of water. So there's really uh, not much reason to hang around uh, for the rest of the day. It's uh, off and on raining and we're currently in a dry spell. So we're gonna take advantage of uh, it being dry to pack up the uh, tent and everything and probably head on home and try to enjoy the rest of our day uh, at home watching movies or something like that. So uh, we'll go ahead and get packed up and I will see you guys back in the studio here in just a few. Alrighty guys, we have made it home from Red Rock Canyon and uh, we had a great trip. It was a good time. The only sour note being that I didn't get a chance to fish 
And uh, so I don't know when we'll be back out there again because that was uh, one of the main driving points uh, of going out there was that it had a really good little fishing pond. And anytime I go camping anywhere, fishing is one top priority. I have to be able to fish where I camp because uh, fishing is just like in my blood. It's, it's the thing that I love most. However, we still had a great time. Uh, baby Liam did really, really well. He slept well in the tent. He wasn't too fussy. And it seems like he's going to handle being outdoors a lot uh, fairly easily, which is uh, about the best thing that we could have hoped for as uh, an outdoors loving family. With all of that being said, I do believe that's going to wrap up today's video, guys. If you enjoyed this one, be sure to smash that like button and body slam a comment down in the comment section. Let me know what you thought of the action. And if you have any tips for taking little kids less than three years old camping, because that's all pretty new to me, drop them down below in the comment section as well. And as always, if you're not already, super kick subscribe and ring that bell icon so that you can be notified every time Jabroni Joe uploads a new video. I will catch you guys in the next one. I love all of you and thank you so much for supporting me. And remember, if it ain't Joe, it's gotta go. Angler, out.